Hello everyone, this is Verosho and welcome to Verosho Plays Tromere, an RPG Maker horror game. Now, I know my voice sounds a bit off today, the reason being is because I, I've been sick for the past few days, so I've been unable to, you know, crank out videos, but I thought I was a little better today, so I decided to record, uh, you know, uh, video hopefully this isn't too long uh, because this game is actually a demo um, it's not the full release of the game yet the demo just came out a few days ago so I thought like why not right so without further ado let's start the game also if you haven't noticed I changed my avatar so instead of being a dog I'm a person now Yay! I already read this. So my name is Noel. I should put this away first. Place book back into bookshelf. Why not? I want to read something new. A lone mirror stands upon a somber wall unsuspecting of a pair of dimly lit ruby eyes gazing upon it. Huh. A plain bookshelf coated in a thick layer of dust. I've read all of these too. Well, aren't I the cutest thing? My name is Noel Razoa, is what I think. A journal filled with intricate illustrations and stories. It belongs to your grandmother. Currency, but it happens to be a bit much. Red coat. Even though it's the height of fall, the weather's pleasant. Quote pens. You should bring parchment to stop yourself from writing on walls. Hmm. Hunting knife. You never know when you run into a stray wolf. A target practice. Their mascot is a super cute sheep. Hmm. I want to get a new book, but I can't leave my room. Open the door. Yes, it's locked. Well, that's unfortunate. A fancy wooden chair with a fluffy red cushion. A glass top table. A vase containing brittle roses resides on top of it. A fancy wooden chair, blah blah blah. Alright, so. Yeah, so apologies in advance. My commentary might be a bit off. An open tome of fables. Because I'm still sick, so... Fancy wardrobe. Cabinet filled with toys, cute. A bed, not really sleepy right now. A plain bookshelf. Ah, another plain bookshelf. So, are we the son of a rich aristocrat family? Because I feel pretty rich. Especially with the rich classical music playing. An intricately wrought jewelry box. Delicate rose carvings adorn its exterior. Take some candy. Yes. Receive candy. Its mascot happens to be a perpetually grumpy sheep. Hmm. Dull crimson eyes gazed up upwards and sullenly at the somber window. Curiously enough, the scene depicted forth from the window is certainly akin to that of an artist's rendition. Nothing can be seen save for a most morosely ashen grey sky. A magpie? They normally don't show up by the mansion. Grandmother will be annoyed if she sees him. What's a magpie? And my vocabulary is not large. Cause there was a bunch of words that I just said that I have no idea what it means. <laughs> I am a very smart person. A bed, not sleepy. Take an axe? Why would I wanna... Received an axe. Well... Why do I even have this? Good. You're asking all of the right questions that I wanna ask. 
Can we use this to take down the door? It's locked. Hmm. How about the window? He's still there. Confront? Eh, not like we got anything else better to do, right? We might as well get a new book while I'm at it. Oh. <clears throat> so, I took down the door in the end anyway. The axe broke. Ah, this is slightly spooky. Am I ready for jump scares? Probably not. Hey, I can hardly see anything. Take a char. Yes. Not sure what I need it for, but <laughs> receive the char. Ding! <laughs> So, hmm. Hopefully, I won't get jump scared. An antique bronze clock. Its hands are perpetually stuck at 3 a.m. I'll fix it later. <laughs> the developer loves using a couple of words. Like certain words, I mean. There should be water here. Check pantry. Yes. Fill jar with water. Yes. Receive the jar of water. Hopefully, he'll be fine now. Who? Who are you even talking about? I have no idea. This is kind of awkward. It's just you and me now, guys. <laughs> There's no music. It's kind of creepy. It's surprisingly unlocked and a balcony, yes. Good morning, Mr. Magpie. I hope your family is doing well. Ah, he's a bird, right? He's just staring. Maybe he's thirsty? Please wait, I'll be right back. I already have the... No, no, don't go back. I already have the water. Come on. Are you that stupid? There you go. Mr. Magpie, why are you crying? Are you lost? The magpie tilted its head as if in affirma affirmation of the boy's questions. He's not talking. Right when Noel was about to leave, the magpie entrusted him with a scrap of yellow parchment. Hastily scrawled in faded writing was a riddle. I speak in many tongues. Silver will silence me. I know of no light. What will be my end? The bird, paying no heed to Noel's confusion, simply blinked. Ah, so this is a puzzle game, bruh. Right? Well, good, because I'm ex I'm extremely bad at puzzle games. This is going to be great. A bookshelf. Don't we have anything else? These are all rather outdated. A bookshelf. Okay, I can't really see the bookshelf. I thought that there might be a door there. So. I'll look for the key later. First, I need to check up on Magpie. Grandmother's too suspicious. Alright. I still have the same things I should save while I'm at it. Well, what should I be... What should I be doing now? Is 
Is there another area beyond the balcony? No, I'm just slightly clipping off the area. Ooh, wait, I have a pair of scissors, but I can't even say yes or no. This is gonna be bad. On myself? No. Farewell. Why, why would I want to use the scissors on myself? I mean, I said no, but it doesn't give you the right to go and slaughter a goddamn bird like Jesus Christ. Climb over the railing. Don't see why not. Jump. So many decisions in such a short time. Without looking back even once, Noel threw himself off the rail. Did I just... Did I... Did I just... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Am I that depressed? And after looking at the title screen, I realized that his pants seem a bit soiled. Was that there before? No. <laughs> okay. What the hell, man? What's my problem? And by my problem, I mean, you know. <laughs> sure, listen to the voice in your head to, to, you know, stick the scissors in your throat or whatever. Alright, I died two times. Great. Bad end, bad end. Uh, I'm doing great so far. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Bird. We all will miss you. Hmm. Alright, he is gone now. Climb over the railing, yes. No. Ah, I see, so... There was an option for... No, 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 don't, don't. Just go back, okay? Don't climb over railings, don't jump there, or whatever. It's dangerous, alright? Alright, what should I be doing now? Why? Why would I want to stab myself with a knife? Why are there so many things in this game that can kill me? You know what? Listen to the voice in your head. Do it. Stab yourself with a knife. See what good they'll do. Yeah, that, like, I don't know what did you expect. Oh, there's actually a game over screen now. That's surprising. The past two deaths that happened to me, there wasn't an, an actual game over screen. Right, so the deaths are pretty obvious. They give you... What? Stab myself with a glass shard? Developer, what the fuck? <laughs> Is this guy, like, going through massive depression? Bong, glancing at the display, Clay's uh, Noel found a glass shard. Do it, sheesh. I mean... <laughs> no, it's just one... Sound effect, okay. It's just a single pshk. Man, kid, you have a problem. You have a major problem if anything you see, you just question yourself whether or not you want to get stabbed by it. Why don't you go play with toys or something? Make yourself feel better. I don't know, go online, play the internet. Watch some fanatai. <laughs> that was the first thing that came to my mind. I am so sorry. 
All right. Do you want to go to bed? I don't know. Uh huh? There's actually. Oh, I can sleep. If you're gonna die because you sleep, I am going to be so pissed. Hi, I'm Annabelle. Unfortunately, I don't appear yet. However, this marks the end of Tromere's demo. Thank you so much for playing. As this is still a work in progress, changes will most likely be made for future releases. I see. So that was the end of the demo. I shoot. Or? Hmm. You're extremely sure. Are you sure I can't go to my grandmother's room yet? Actually, I can. Not. I can. Not. Is the bird dead? No, the bird's still alive. Okay, I want to try going to the grandmother's room just to see if, uh, you know, I can actually go inside, if not. Damn, you creepy as fuck, kid. Alright, so after I kill the bird, there's actually no option for me to, you know, actually... Like, there's no dialogue that appears if I click on the door now. It might be a bug, it might be not, I don't know. Alright. I guess that's it. Well, what do you expect from a demo, right? There's still a lot of stuff to be done to prepare it for a future release. But, um, as of now, the game is actually looking really good. I enjoyed the 15... 15-ish minutes that I played it I'll be actually looking forward to the release um, hmm. Well, hopefully in the when they actually release the game They'll probably give a backstory of the character uh, On like, you know, like where am I? What am I? What am I doing here? Etc, etc So it's still a demo So that's it then Thanks everyone for watching Uh... Tromere and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay frosty. Yo.